So we're talking to Andrew Gluck of Irreverent VC today. Did you aim specifically to go into venture for some reason? This is where I really love to see founder market fit. I try to bring the same thing with investor market fit and just my background of having, you know, spent a billion dollars in Google and on Facebook and worked with these brands and done conversion rate optimization for odd websites and thought about how do we, you know, make more money off customers? How do we provide a better experience for customers? How do we, uh, you know, make better margin, all, all these different things, um, you know, try to bring that same lens and focus to, to invest in. Do you ever worry about uh, being an investor in a company whose negative effects are unforeseen at the time of your investment? Um, I guess examples could be Facebook. It's hard to uh, you know, especially with a business that's really nascent, you know, what the effects are going to be. Um, you know, it's great to invest in, in, ideas that are helping people and that are, you know, better for you. And, you know, but even those, you know, can be a facade, right? Uh, I think a lot gets lost in the Facebook story around how many people it connects, how it helps small businesses. And, and I think Facebook gets a bad rap in a lot of different ways. Um, I'm an early investor in a company called Lunchbox, it's like a shop at the restaurants. Part of what they do is they help small businesses, small, medium, you know, small, medium, some enterprise clients on the restaurant space, the stories that they are able to tell in terms of, you know, they had companies that almost went out of business during, clients that almost went out of business during the pandemic that with Launchbox was able to help grow to the next phase, help them retain staff. Uh, one of the companies, because of Launchbox and their help on increasing their off-premises revenue, were able to hire back a lot of the staff that they had laid off due to the pandemic. Do you have any hopes for the future of VC? Uh, it's really interesting to see a lot of the changes that have happened. I've only been in the industry for two and a half, three years now, but just some of the changes that have happened. And obviously the one change that hasn't happened yet, that still needs work. And I, I look at myself, you know, and do you better here too, is uh, female funding underrepresented founders. I think on the GP investor VC side as well, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't say. I don't know which is worse. They're both pretty terrible, right? And and there there's probably, uh, you know, some some correlation causation between those two, right? Um, and it's it's unfortunate and needs to change. I pride the fact that I was an angel investor out of my 25 investments. Around 50% of the teams had underrepresented founders, or those were you know female founders, immigrant founders, LGBTQ founders the best founders can look like anything can sound like anything. And the fact that the best founders aren't getting funded because of bias, unconscious or conscious is, is the number one thing that needs to change in the industry.